Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a review of how to add and subtract integers, and we're going to be working with both positive and negative integers. We'll start with adding integers. Now, when it comes to these types of problems, there are different ways to think through these. We will go through two ways for each of our examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have 12 plus negative seven. We'll start this problem by taking a look at the signs. We have a positive 12 and a negative seven. So we have different signs, a positive and a negative. Since we have different signs, we are going to take the greater absolute value and subtract the lesser. Our answer will take the sign of the greater absolute value. Let's start by writing the absolute value of both 12 and negative seven. And remember, absolute value is the distance a number is from zero. The absolute value of 12 is 12. The absolute value of negative seven is seven. Now we take the greater absolute value and subtract the lesser. These are already in order, so we can subtract. If the larger absolute value comes second, you can always switch the order to find the difference if need be. Let's subtract. So 12 minus seven is five. Now we need to determine if our answer is going to be positive or negative. So we need to take a look at the larger absolute value, which is this 12. So we take the sign of the larger absolute value from the original problem. So the larger absolute value is 12. Let's take a look at the 12 in the original problem. And that 12 is positive. That means our answer is going to be positive. So our final answer, a positive five. So a quick recap here. Basically, we forgot about any negatives because we were working with absolute values. We then found the difference between the absolute values and the answer takes the sign of the greater absolute value from the original problem. Now let's think through this another way. And this way is going to be more of a mental math approach. Just basically thinking about what's going on in this problem. So let me rewrite 12 plus negative seven here. So our original problem. So we are starting at a positive 12 and we are adding a negative seven. By adding a negative, by adding that negative seven, we are decreasing in value by seven from that 12. We can basically think of this as 12 minus seven or 12 take away seven. That gives us our answer of five. So 12 plus negative seven, we are decreasing that 12 by a value of seven. So we get a positive five. So again, we started at a positive 12. Always think about where you are starting and where you are going from that starting point. So we are adding a negative seven, which is decreasing our 12 in value by seven, and we end up with five. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative eight plus negative 10. Here we have two negatives, so the same signs. So we're going to add the absolute values and use the same sign. So let's start by taking a look at the absolute value of negative eight and negative 10. The absolute value of negative eight is eight, plus the absolute value of negative 10, which is 10. Now we add those absolute values because again, we had the same signs. Eight plus 10 is 18. We use the same sign from the original problem, which those are negatives there, so our answer is negative. Final answer, negative 18. Now, if we were to think through this, we can think that we are starting at negative eight. So let me rewrite here, negative eight plus negative 10. 
So again, starting at negative 8, and we are adding a negative 10. So that means we are decreasing in value by 10. That leaves us at negative 18. Like I mentioned earlier, think about your starting point, so the number you are starting with. We have a negative 8. And then adding that negative 10 tells us we are decreasing in value and end up at negative 18. Negative 18 is our final answer. That's how we add integers. Let's move on to subtraction. So here are our examples for subtracting integers. Let's jump into number one, where we have five minus negative nine. Now, when we subtract integers, we're actually going to add the opposite. So if you're able to add integers, you're going to be able to subtract. The opposite of subtraction is addition. And then we take the opposite of the number we are subtracting. So this gives us an equivalent problem, and we are able to use this strategy. So we have 5, and then let's add the opposite of negative 9. The opposite of negative 9 is positive 9. So 5 plus 9, that gives us 14, a positive 14. And that's our final answer. Now that answer may not make sense at first, but let's think about how we end up with a positive 14 in this subtraction problem. Whenever we subtract a negative, we actually increase in value. I like to think of this in terms of money. A negative represents a debt or an expense when it comes to money. So that negative 9 would be a $9 debt or expense. Think of subtracting a negative like subtracting or taking away that debt or expense and getting that money back. That is a good, positive thing and increases the value of that problem. So something to think about. Let's move on to number 2 where we have negative 3 minus 20. So let's add the opposite negative 3 plus the opposite of positive 20 is negative 20. So we have negative 3 plus negative 20. Now adding that negative 20, we are decreasing in value by 20. So we're starting at negative 3 and then decreasing in value by 20. That's going to give us negative 23. And that's our final answer. So there you have it. There's how you add and subtract integers. If you need any more help or examples, I dropped links to more videos and examples down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.